And hello, welcome to another solo session with me, Wackasm. And today I am playing another game of Sunshine City, which is normally a multiplayer roll and write, move and write, move and roll and write, roll and write with meeples. I don't know the best way to describe it. It's definitely a roll and write, but with meeples involved. Um, I have another PlayStation play session up already. That kind of explains all the rules of the game, so I'm going to skip most of the core rules this time. Uh, but I will explain some things. Um, it is soloable because the designers uh, made the game with solo AI opponents. There's like, I don't know, eight, nine, ten, ten of them, nine of them, I'm not sure how many. They all have their own little distinct personalities and ways to play. Last time I played with Angus, today I'm playing with Olivia, the oil heiress. Olivia inherited half the world's oil, but it's not enough. She wants more and more and more. Uh, there's definitely like an environmental uh, spin to all these guys. Um, they all seem to want to destroy the world in one way or another. So something to mind, I guess. All right, so let's kind of explain what's happening here, what's different with this opponent. Um, First things first, uh, every opponent kind of has a different scoring mechanism. Uh, well, not mechanism, but scoring goal. Uh, Olivia is set to be a long game opponent. Um, there's only a few of them. Some of them are short, some of them are medium, some of them are long. Um, and that basically means that, uh, if you remember from last time, the general goal of the game is to uh, mark off these solar spaces, uh, solar farms. Um, I kind of highlighted them in pink for this game to win you need 11 or if you want to win on hard mode you need to get the full 16. I'm going to play like I did last time instead of like predetermining if I'm going to be playing on hard or normal I'm just going to play on normal and then if I win I'll just keep playing uh try to beat hard this way I don't have to like play twice. Um also if you remember uh there's a lot of different maps that's kind of the unique hook to this game a little bit. Uh for instance there is um a like normal map there's uh, an underwater city map there is a forest city map all different kinds i'm still going to be playing on the solo city just because they made one city that's designed for solo i might as well try it a few times before i move on to another uh city uh but i will eventually try out some of the other cities that are more have powers that are more multiplayer focused but still work with solo but yeah this is the only one that's specifically designed for solo. So that's why I'm, I'm replaying it again. Um, so yeah, that's that's one change with this opponent. Uh, another change with this opponent is uh, her gameplay hook is she's always gonna use the small dice to move, just like Angus. Um, but in this, uh, in this version, her powers are gonna be that instead of like marking off these buildings like Angus, Wherever she is, you have to use two of your resources in the city that she's in. Uh, so if she's in this space, when I go and use my uh, builder, inventor, or lobbyist meeples, I have to mark off at least two things in the city. And if ever I cannot do that, I lose the game. Um, so there's a little bit of difference with her. She will always be moving like until either you win or lose. So unlike Angus, it does mean that some of these powers might trigger more frequently um, than last time because last time Angus was like completely locking out cities for himself. That won't happen with her, but it may change, you know, the order of, of how I play, like un unlock things because I don't want to ever have myself in a position where I can't actually mark stuff. So I feel like all these wild spaces are going to be a little bit more important to leave, like leave open. So I'll probably be playing a little bit differently this game and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, and then one rule that I got wrong last time that I want to correct moving forward is anytime we roll, we always have to use the lower dice first. Last time I was kind of playing it where I would pick a dice and then use a meeple and then pick another dice, use a meeple. Uh, the actual rules are you have to use the lowest dice first, then the highest dice. Um, yeah, and I didn't realize that on my first play, but now I do. Other than that, I think I played everything correctly. Um... Some of the rules are still a little bit ambiguous. I haven't gotten an answer yet. So like, for instance, this one, whenever an opponent lands in district, uh, mark an X, mark one support. I still don't know if that means I can mark off question marks, but I am gonna play it as you can. 
if I ever get uh, an update from the designer, then um, you know I'll find out if that's how it works. So yeah, let's get started. We're gonna do the first roll of the game. And it is a two and a five. So that means that Olivia is going to go first and she is going to move up to the wood district. And I think I'm just going to simply use my builder first. And that means I'm going to mark off two wood in the wood district. This counts as the two that I have to mark off because she's there. So I don't have to worry about doing it uh, the rest of the turn. And then we're going to use the inventor to go five. And um, I think I'm going to just use these two science, try and uh, unlock this power first. I like the wilds that she might generate by landing here. I don't know if it's the best way to play, but that tends to be a play style that I have. Generate more resources, it's fun. All right, a one and a two. So Olivia is going to go first again. She is going to move here, um, which means that uh, I have to spend two resources here. I think we're going to do that with the worker again. Um, we'll do one. No, we'll do two resources here. Uh, unfortunately, the none of the, these buildings um, have glass in it, so I'm going to have to waste it on two wilds, but that's fine. Um, and then uh, we're going to move two spaces with the inventor. And that's going to get the inventor to mark off two chips. One, two. And now we're going to go again. Hopefully play is faster this time now that I'm kind of used to the game mechanics. We shall see. This is marked as a long game, so we don't know. But Olivia is just going to slowly crawl our way through Sunshine City, Sunshine City. And I think I'm just going to tag along. Hmm, no. No, 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 I'm not. I was going to, but I'm not. Uh, we're going to use the one with the inventor first here. I was going to have the builder just tag along wherever she went for a while, but uh, I think we're going to do it this way instead because this generates two chips. That means I can immediately get this, this power right away. So I've, I've already gained this power, gained two wilds whenever the opponent lands here, um, which means that I have to use five now. One, two, three, four, five. Um... Might as well use it with uh, the uh, builder. Actually, no. Let's see, let's think about this. Okay, we're going to actually use the lobbyist first. One, two, three, four, five. It's the lobbyist in this like science district. Um, means we generate two science. And I have to mark off two where Olivia is. Um, actually, that wasn't smart for some reason. Yeah, well, yeah, that was not smart, but too late. Can't undo it. For some reason, I thought I could use them here and start working on these, but then I remembered it's the lobbyist. Can't do that. So what I probably should have done is moved the builder, but I would have been the same either way. So it is what it is. All right. That is the end of that turn. Let us roll. Maybe we'll roll a three. We did not. We got doubles. So for doubles, it just means that uh, Olivia is going to stay where she is. Nothing changes. But all three of my workers now have to basically take their turn where, where they are. And um, so I think the way we're going to play this is, is we're going to use the builder first, uh, generate two uh, glass, and we'll do one glass here. And let's start marking off this with the other glass. We have two science that we can use anywhere. And um, we're gonna use the two science down here. Start marking off this so we can try to get some gears unlocked. And then now we have two chips. Um, so workers in the opponent's district. Um, chips, chips. The inventor may start moving from the not the greatest power. So I think we're going to mark off two here. One. All right. Uh, so that is it for my turn. We have a three and a five. 
So Olivia is going to move three spaces. One, two, three. Which means this triggers first. Um, I can mark two wherever the opponent, whenever the opponent lands here. Uh, so I can do that right now. And then I have a three and a five. Well, how can I best use these two wilds first? You know what? I'm just going to use the two wilds right where I'm at, I think. One, two. So now Olivia's taken care of. I don't have to worry about marking anything else here right now. Uh, so I can use a three or a five. I'll have to use a three first. One thing I have to remember. Threes first. Um, I think we're going to use three with the inventor first. One, two, three. It gets us two steel to use. And I think we're going to use them right where we are. And then we're going to move uh, the builder five. One, two, three. And uh, I have two chips to use. And I think I'm gonna just use them here as well. All right, uh, so let's do mounts, let's roll. Uh, so Olivia is gonna be moving one. All right, so I have to mark two things here. So I think the easiest way to do that, move the builder here, generating two wood. We are going to mark first wood here that gets us an extra wood this turn to use so now every time we land here we're going to be generating three wood and i'm just going to use the other two that takes care of olivia's needs and then we are going to move our inventor uh three spaces one two three and this gives us two wilds to use wherever we want and where do we want to use those um i guess let's split them up and we will mark off one here and one here. Uh, not sure if that's the smartest usage of that, but that's how we're gonna do it. So, okay, uh, let's roll again. Same roll. So Olivia's creeping forward one, joining the inventor. Um, the one we can get some glass. Let's do that. Builder here, generating two glass gonna mark them here so Olivia's needs are taken care of for the turn glass is not super great for the inventor right now where we can do chips with the lobbyist that's what we're gonna do we're gonna move the lobbyist three one two three into the chip district generating two chips we are just going to mark off two actually no we're gonna mark off two chips here that's what I meant to do Let's roll again. <laughs> Same roll, different dice. I don't know. Suspicious, but it is what it is. A one and a three. So, uh, creep forward into the, the glass district. Um, so, yeah, we're going to creep forward with the builder. Generating two steel. We're just going to use them where Olivia is at. Takes care of her needs. And then now we have three... We are going to, <coughs> we're going to cough, I apologize for that. Uh, we're going to move the uh, lobbyist three. They're generating two steel and we are going to use the two steel district, district right here. Closer to some gear icons that we can use for some special powers. Uh, and that is it for our turn. Let's see if we can get different, something different. Two ones instead of a one and a three. All right, so she's going to stay where she's at. We don't have to worry about her. We do have to worry about um, marking in something here. Uh, so this is not bad. We get two wilds with the inventor here. So where's the best usage of that? Um, let's go for this one. That's the two wilds, and then they both generate two steel. So I'm going to use two of the steel here. We'll do one, um, then another one. Then we have two more steel to use with the lobbyist somewhere. And I think we're just going to use them here. Kind of spread things out a little bit. We're about 15 minutes in. 
Not too bad. All right. Olivia's going to move forward. Having a party with these guys. So a one and a four. Um, can't generate what I want. So I think what we're going to do, uh, we're going to use the one first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to use the one with the, the builder. And they're generating two science. And we are just going to use the two science. Probably should use them up here, but I'd rather I'd rather just unlock one more wild as fast as possible. So that's why I'm doing that. Then we are going to move. Um, who are we moving? Thought I knew what what I was doing. Yeah, we're gonna move uh, the inventor forward, and they're gonna go to where Olivia is at. They are just gonna use the two iron or steel there um, to progress this. And that makes her happy, so we don't have to worry about her needs. And we can move on to the next turn. A two and a four. All right, Olivia, do your thing. You're trying to get all the oil in the world. Um, so this is the first time she's been here, I think. All right. First things first, we are definitely moving the builder. That is going to let us mark off this which gives us an extra wild to use that we want and i think we are gonna use it down here mark off a science i guess All right so that takes care of the two still have to mark off something in this district um so the question is who do i want to do that with either of these guys are going to be landing in the chip district we have marked off like this is where it gets very risky uh both of these guys do not have a lot of spaces where they can use chips in this district i think the better play right now is well the only play if i don't do this i lose i have to move the inventor one two three four i have to mark off two chips uh should, should just pop one this this district is a worrisome district. We have to pay attention to this a little bit more. I would have been forced to move the the, the lobbyist this turn. I would I would have actually lost before even scoring a single point. So there's only one wild in the lobbyist section. All right, so we have a four and a five. So that means Olivia is going to move first. Now moving. There we go. One. She's up in the glass districts. We are going to move our inventor forward. One, two, three. They're generating two science. We're going to use the two science here. This is power. While the opponent is here, your workers produce one plus resource. But we still have to figure out what we want to do here. So it could either be a lobbyist with wood. No wood spaces here. Um, or... Um, the builder, yeah, we're gonna do the builder. Builder's the. We're gonna move the builder forward five. One, two, three, four, five. They're gonna be generating two science. There's a bunch of available science spots in here that are not wilds. That's the right move. No points so far. Um, and that is a reroll because that dice was not on its side. All right, a four and a five. Four is good. We like this. So Olivia is going to move first. Um, she is going to generate two wilds. Which means I can spend them anywhere and we're just gonna keep spending them in here slowly but surely. Um, I think we are gonna do it down here. Actually, no, we'll do them, do them over here. Let's do it to science okay olivia's needs are met because we used these two wilds that were generated so now i can use my worker resources however we want one two three four so we could get three wood down um or i could get three wood in a lot of different places right now the inventor does not use wood that efficiently but it could help us get another power 
I think this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the builder. One, two, three, four. We are gonna use three wood. One, two, three. Gives us another wood to use. Um, then we have one more wood. Then we are going to use the lobbyist next. One, two, three, four, five. Generate four wood, and we're gonna put them all towards our one. Actually, no, we're gonna two there. Use the other two down here. That round. So I think normally you can choose not to use resources, but I think against Olivia you have to use all of your resources, which is another thing that I didn't really specify before. I think in the base game, like you can just choose not to spend stuff, but with Olivia you have to spend it every turn. So. I don't know if ramping up my production is going to end up killing me because I'm going to be forced to spend it somewhere, but I don't know. We shall see. Um, we got a two and a four. So Olivia is going to be moving to the wood district. So I have to spend at least two there. And I think easy play is builder. We're going to move two. And we are going to wipe out going on here one two, builder's turn and then we have a four to use gets us into the support district i think we're going to use the lobbyist for that uh, one two three four two support icons and we have to use two where olivia's at so we are just going to um all right turn another roll we're just starting to fill up and I still have zero points. So I'm gonna start thinking about how to get some solar farms going. All right, so she's gonna be moving one. How do I wanna do this? I think this is gonna be a lobbyist turn. The lobbyist in here, get three wilds. Mark off at least two here. One, two, takes care of Olivia's needs for the turn. Where is that last one going to be? Let's use the last one right where we are at. Okay, now I have a two that I have to use. I think we are going to do it this way. We're going to move Builder to back to the Inventor. Them to they're generating four wood. That means we can do this. One, two, three. Probably could have just done that, not spent the two there, but it's fine. So now we have workers in the opponent's district produce one plus resource. Uh, so I got to kind of keep to remember that's a thing. Now I have one more wood that I need to spend somewhere, and I think we're just going to spend it down here for three purposes. All right, so I am starting to run out of some wilds, and I got to kind of pay attention to that as well. A six and a two. I think it's going to be time that I start thinking about scoring and all right, so Olivia's got to move two. This space, this area, we have nothing marked, so we want her to land here a lot, I think. I can't force her to land there, but that's something we got to pay attention to. What cities are safer than other cities? Um, okay, so with a four. All right, so with a two, we're going to move the builder first, I think. One, two. Builder is just going to generate one here. Now we're unlocking. Now we have three steel to work with, and they're just going to do uh, three. So now Olivia's taken care of. We don't have to worry about her. Now we have a six to work with. Um, we're going to use the lobbyist. One, two, three, five, six. We're going to mark off these two. So we just need uh, two more here, and then one more here, and we get our first solar farm. Next roll. Five and a six, okay. Skipping go. I'm gonna get this bonus in the space. Two, three, four, five. So she's back up here. This is one area I don't think we want her in that often anymore for a while, um, but we don't have a choice right now. So one, two, three, four, five. So I think first things first, the inventor is gonna go. One, two, three, four, five. And 
getting three wilds to use. I don't really have any powers that I want to build up anymore, so I think we're just gonna try to set up places. Um, we're gonna try to set up places for some bonus solar farms. I think that's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna do chips because we don't generate bonus chips. Then now we have a sixth that we have to use with somebody. Oh, and then also, because we, we did it in her space, she's taken care of. I don't have to worry about generating anything there. Um, six, uh, three, class. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to move the builder, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. They are going to... Just going to mark off glass spaces. One. Okay. So things are starting to get dicey a little bit. Uh, a one and a six. Oh, workers in the opponent's district produce one more resource. So actually, I get one more one more glass to spend. Let um, me take care of that first. So we will spend it here. All right. Got to remember that that's a thing. Wherever, Whenever you're paired together... You get plus more, plus one, which is probably going to matter this time. All right, so Olivia is going to move here, and that's going to mean that I'm going to move Builder here. It means I'm generating four steel, and I think we're going to do it like this. Maybe I don't know. Let's see. Like this one, two. So Olivia's happy. Do one, two there and then we have a six to use and I think we're just going to use it with both of these options are not good options um I guess we will use it with the lobbyist so let's lobbyist they're going to go all the way around the board five six generating two science Oh, wait, while the opponent is here, your workers produce plus one resource. So hold on, let's take care of that. Might change what I do, actually. Uh, so he gets more plus another steel to use, so we'll just use it. Um, use it right here. And now he gets three science because while Olivia is here, everyone gets uh, plus one resource. Um, so we're going to use it up here. One. Now we're starting to have a lot of little combo rules to pay attention to. All right. So first things first, uh, Olivia's going to move three, one, two, three. She's going to trigger this. So we're just going to spend it right here and we might as well spend it on science here. One, two, um, all right, so we don't have to worry about Olivia this turn. And then now we have to move three and four. Workers in your opponent's district produce one resource. So we're going to use the builder to move forward three first, I think. One, two, three. You're getting four wilds to use. A lot of spaces with stuff to use. Any more generation? I think we're just going to spread it around a little bit. We're going to do one, two, four. Okay, and then we have four we got to use. Four. Okay, we're going to use it with the, the lobbyist, I think. Little blue friend. One, two, three, four. They are generating four wood. That means that they can take care of this. One, we have our first gear um, to use. Fortunately, we don't have any other wood spaces on the board, so we have to just kind of dump them somewhere. Um, from here. Okay, let's roll again. Five and a two. All right, so Olivia's going to move forward two spaces. Um, have to spend something here. So interestingly enough, I think we're going to do this. It might be a horrible idea. I don't know, but we're going to use the builder. Come here, follow Olivia, which means she's generating five logs or wood because of the worker power, workers in your opponent's 
district to produce one plus resource. Uh, so we are going to do one, two, one, and then two, three, four, five. Get this ready to score. So that was the two. We have to use the five now. One, two, three, four, five. And I think we're going to use the lobbyist, like the smartest move. One, two, three, four, five. Gets us back in here. And now we have three wilds to use. So we are definitely going to mark off two gold, uh, the two glass that's here. Uh, gets us three. So we have three, four gears to use. Um, have to keep that in the back of our mind. We're going to leave this open in case we want to try to use it to, to get one of these bonus scoring. We have one more wild to use with lobbyists. Where, where do we want to use the wild? Um, I have to I have to mark off two here. I think I only marked off one, so I have to use it here. Otherwise, I'd I'd lose. So it's a good thing I remembered that. Otherwise, I would have cheated and lost. I'm ninety five percent sure I marked off this one, and four in the gold district. Um, if I cheated, I apologize, but I'm pretty sure that's what I did. So I, I marked off one here. I'm gonna mark off my extra one here, and I just have to. Hope that I always remember that that's the case and that I don't cheat. Okay, double sixes. This is a pretty good turn. All right, so she's going to stay. So right off the bat, we're going to use the uh, the builder. Um, and the builder is simply going to mark off two, do three wood here. And we'll do another two wood. I don't know. Two down here. Two. No, they only do they, they do five wood because they're in the same space as uh and both of these guys generate three wilds to use. Um so do I want to use them is the question. I think we are going to use the three wilds here for the lobbyist. Gets us a fifth gear. So now we have access to all these powers. I could do three random wilds, I can skip the opponent's turn. I can mark off all the the irons in a district. I can move two workers to the bonus district and activate them. I can complete a solar farm uh, in the opponent's district if one is already completed there. Uh, this is what we're going to save our five years for because there are these two bonus conditions. Complete a solar farm in the opponent's space. Complete the third solar farm in the opponent's space. And that might give us some freedom to be able to to do that all in one go. All right, so we're going to use the, the inventor's ability here, I think. Uh, we'll do, actually, yeah. Roll again. We got a three and a six. I feel like I'm going to misjudge something and end up losing, but some of it is luck. All right, so I have to spend at least two here. Uh, I think an easy move is just going to be move the inventor here. Gives us three. I could either use it here. Let's see. Six. All right, so I'm going to use three that I get because um, I get plus one for, for him being here. And I'm going to actually use them over here. Uh, one, two... Then I'm going to use the lobbyist, six. It's going to go around the board, support district. He's going to mark off two um, to these phones. All right, doubles. Not the best doubles space, but could be worse. Um, okay, we are going to... Mark off another three here. Wild. Um, gives him four to spend. We're going to use those in this district. We'll do uh, tips, I guess. And we have the lobbyist who's generating two supports. I think we're just going to get another key or something. We're going to do this. Extra gear might be important. I don't know. 
Okay. Roll again. Three and a six. Not a two. We're hoping for a two. Um, Olivia's going to move three. She's in the Kip district. There's a lot of freedom here, which is good. Um, best, way to, best way to take advantage of this. I know this is good, so we're going to move the Builder three, I think. One, two, three. Then three chips to work with. We're just going to use the chips down here. One chip like this. Another chip to work with. Olivia's taken care of. Now we need to figure out who we want to move six. I think that's just going to be the lobbyist. Lobbyist all the way around again. We're going to go to the science district. We're going to mark off these two wilds right here. Alright, let's roll again. Three and a four. Olivia is going to move down to the Steel District. Um, two, three. I think we're just going to keep following her with the Builder, actually. While the opponent is here, your workers produce plus one resource. Actually. Probably not the smartest play. But we're going to do it anyway. We're going to move Builder here. Leave the Builder there. The Lobbyist 3 to chip, chip land. We're going to start on 1, 2. And then we're going to move the Lobbyist. Um, oh, actually, they, they, they produce one more chip. Um, we have to use one more chip somewhere. Lobbyist. I guess we'll use it here. And now the inventor, they're gonna generate one, two, three, four, five irons. Thought I was producing one more. They get one for being here with him, one because of him being in this district. Um not as good of a move as I thought it was going to be honest. Well, we're going to do it this way then, I guess. One, two, three. I already did ships here for Olivia, so I don't have to worry about them. I'll do four, five. It's getting dicey now. No victory points yet, though, for me, so. All right. Two and six. So Olivia is moving to support district. Uh, that one I think is pretty, a little bit more straightforward, I think. We are gonna move the lobbyist to We're gonna move the builder. We're gonna generate three support. And we are gonna move the, sorry, the builder, that was the inventor, and we're gonna move the builder six. Builder six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we are going to first, one, two. We have three wilds to use anywhere we want. We are gonna just start using them in random places. Three, four, five. Roll again. Six and a four. Olivia is going to be moving first. One, two, three, four. She is in last district. Ah, uh, okay. This is the first scenario where I can do something. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, workers in your opponent's district produce plus one resource. Let's see here. Blast doesn't do anything for the Ventor. Iron doesn't so, it just seems like, okay. I can get five wilds 
with the lobbyist. One, two, four, five. All right, so I think we're gonna get a bunch of points now. That's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna move the builder four. Now we're gonna move the inventor four. One, two, three, four. So the inventor is here. So they're gonna get four, um, four glass to use. And they're just gonna use it any places where we need to use glass now. So one, we'll do it here, four. Then the lobbyist is gonna go. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so they, so this is where a complex turn comes in. Hopefully I didn't mess this up, let's see. They're gonna use five wilds to start with. One, two, get a gear. Oh, I think I messed up. Messed up. Actually, how many how many gears do I have? Three, four, five, seven. Uh, I think I miscalculated. Oh, let's let's undo this. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I have an, any other choice but to do it this way. a solar farm in the opponent's district if one is already completed there. Yeah, I didn't see that this was open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's yeah, kind of unfortunate. Well, I mean, I guess we can just be ready for the future, right? So let's just do it that way. One, two, three, four, five. I was going to try to complete two solar farms here and get the third one, but we'll just have to hope that she lands there again. Otherwise, I might have to do it in a different district. All right. Um, so I do get two more gears. I remember to write to circle those. Yeah, I was one resource short, one resource short from doing what I wanted to do, but it's fine. She's gonna she's gonna land there again in the future. See, she's gonna do it very soon. First, she's gonna move five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. She's in the chip district. We need to get at least two marked here. I think the easiest way to do that with who? Probably the lobbyist. Uh. No, with the inventor. One, two, three, four, five. You're getting four, five, five chips. One, two, three. So those are taken care of, and we'll just start marking over here. Four. Then I have to move somebody six. Five, six. Do the lobbyist. And we'll just mark off two supports. I still have no points, but I'm probably going to be getting a lot of points all at once as long as I don't kill myself. Okay, so she's not moving where we want her to this turn, but we still have a shot if we roll another one. Um, so I got to mark off stuff here. We are running out of stuff here, but that's okay. We'll move the inventor here, generating five wood. Do one, two, three wood have to start using wilds now. Maybe the inventor was not the best. No, the inventor was not the best to do. So let's undo that. One, two, three. Let's move the inventor back to space. Let's move the lobbyist forward to space. Now we have five wilds to use. We can spread it out however we want. We're gonna do this. One, two, three, four, five. Gives us two more gears. We have a lot of flexibility now with powers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gears to use. Um, but now we have to move somebody five. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're just gonna move the builder five. Five. Nope, that's not the builder, that is the lobbyist. Builder. Uh, and they're just gonna get two science to waste and just use them right where we're standing. Okay, new roll. A one would be good. We got a one. All right, so now we're set up to do with what we wanted to do before, I think. Uh, so a one. One, two, three, four, five. Workers in the opponent's district produce plus one resource. So I need a steel, three wilds. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm not. Position to do this. 
Uh, no, I am. I think I just have to do it in a weird way. All right, so we're going to move the lobbyists forward one. And they are going to generate four chips. One, two, three. So first things first, we are scoring this district. So we have one chip left to use, but we're, we're on the board, so let's mark off our district. Then, if I complete a solar farm in the opponent's space, which I did, I get a second one. So now I am up to two. Um, which I suppose we can just mark. Um, and then I have one more chip I have to use somewhere. I can use right where I'm standing. So Olivia's needs are met. That's step one. Um, and now I have to generate one iron. I'm going to do this in the st stupidest way possible. I'm going to spend three gears. Uh, do I have enough gears to do this? Yeah. X each steel in, an, in the opponent's district, which means I can X one. This gets us another point, another solar farm. And then I still have, so that was three gears. So I wasted these three gears and then I still have a lot of gears. So I'm going to spend one, two, three, four, five to do this power. Complete a solar farm in the opponent's district if one is already completed there. And we're going to just complete this solar farm, this big one, which gets me a point for completing it. And then gets me this bonus one, complete the third solar farm in, in the opponent's space. I went from zero to five points in one turn. So that, that makes me feel pretty good. And I still have to move somebody five spaces. One, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. I don't know who to, who to move five spaces. Probably the builder. No, not the builder. Now I got to figure out. Oh, wait, we actually scored a solar farm before and I totally like didn't even mark it. This says a solar farm. So technically I'm at six points. Are there any other spots that I forgot to mark as a solar farm? Completed? I don't think so. Um, all right, so we are at six points. I gotta move somebody. Let us move the builder five. One, two, three, four, five. Generating four um, glass. Let's make it five glass. Let's do one, two. Now we're generating five glass. We have three more to spend. I'm down here, spend it here. Three. Now I have to start just doing random spaces so let us let's start here get ourselves another support to work with all right it's a pretty big turn three and a four not sure how happy she is as a uh, an opponent one two three but i don't know if we're going to be able to, to beat hard mode but i definitely think we'll be able to beat like the easy mode um i definitely have to keep an eye out now about always being able to like spend resources. If they get like a bunch of places down to just a couple and then just kind of go crazy. All right, uh, so we have a three and a four to use. So now I think the play is we are gonna use the lobbyists to go three. We're gonna generate three, uh, three iron. One, two, three. We're gonna get another solar farm. Um, mark that down here, mark that right there. Then we have a four to use one, two, and I think we're just going to use the builder, uh, builder here. Got a bunch of wilds to spend. Can't mark off anything up here. I always have to use the builder if she lands there. So we've got to work on a place that has a lot of open spaces for the other guys. Let us, let us go after this. So we have five wilds to use. We're just going to do one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to get a while to use. Okay. Doubles. Okay. Pretty good doubles space, I think. Actually, no. I think we messed up. I don't think we wrote, I don't think we did anything in her space. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's back it up. Oh, what did I mark last? Those two, I gotta mark off two here. So this is easy to do, we'll just mark off two. 
Again, don't know if I've ever forgotten to do that. Luckily, I've remembered this time, but we always have to remember that we have to mark stuff where she is at or else we lose. I definitely marked these three. Yeah, so I got to mark two there. Okay, we fixed it. Didn't lose yet. Four and four. Everyone stays where they are. Um, so we're going to use one of the irons here to do this space. Get another solar farm. Okay, another solar farm puts us at eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got to use two more irons. So we're going to use them down here. And that is it for the lobbyists. We got to use four chips. Uh, we're going to use the, we're going to use um, the builder first. Builder is going to do one, two, three, four, get an extra chip there. Then we'll do the fifth one down here. Here, there we go. So I need one more to get this space. And then the inventor has five chips to use and they're just going to use, oh wait, we did not do two here again, did we? So back it up one. Oh no, we did one. No, did we do this this turn? We did one here this turn, right? That last turn. I don't know. We'll just play it safe. We'll use two here. But he's got four chips to use. Pretty easy. We'll use them all right here. Getting harder to remember where we used things. Um, but still pretty sure I did not accidentally cheat. Also trying to play faster now. So anyway. Uh, she's moving four to the glass district. So this has to be the builder. So the builder has to go this turn. Everything's closed. So this could be the district that kills us. So she keeps landing here. So we need the builder to land. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter where they land. One, two, three, four. Workers in the opponent's district reduce plus one resource. Okay, well, the builder has to go, go this turn. So we're going to do one, two, three, four. Producing three iron. Two of them are going to go up here. And then the last iron is just going to get spent here. And then now I got to move somebody six. Um, lobbyist, one, two, three, four. The lobbyist goes here. They're getting one, two, three, four, five, five class to spend. Um, yeah, I guess let's do that. Let's do the lobbyist. Wait, no gonna do the inventor two three four five six they're gonna land on this wild space the gold area and they're gonna have five to spend however they want uh, yeah this could be another space where only the builder could build on but one two three four five gets us another solar farm two more to win the base game Basically, I think that's all we have to do is just always make it so that somebody can build on one of the areas. There's wilds here, so this is a good one to leave open for the lobbyist. This is good. To, this is good to leave open. These two are good. These three are good to leave over the inventor. This one inventor, builder, builder. All right, I think we can do this. I think I understand what my strategy is now. Double ones. Okay, so she's staying here. That's not good for us, but got to deal with it so the builders got to go first they're generating um three steel two of them are going to mark these two we have to use another steel somewhere we'll use the steel up here then the lobbyist generates three uh there's not many places for the lobbyist to use it so we're going to use it here i guess we use it here then uh, the inventors could generate five wilds. I think their best usage is going to be over here. We're going to go up here first. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's everybody. Pull again. Four and a five. All right, so she at least she leaves the space, which is good. Um, one, two, three, four, and she lands on this space. So this is good for us because I can easily put two the two wilds where she's at. So we're just gonna do one, two. Now I don't have to worry about her at all. 
Now I have a four and a five to use however I want. One, two, three, four, four. Um, oops. Kind of not helpful right now. I use it. Good. Um, all right, this is going to be risky, I think. So we're going to move the lobbyists. Lobbyists, we're going to move. You're going to move Venter 4. We're just going to mark off 3. We're going to mark move the Builder 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're doing 4 wood. Getting risky all over the place, but we're going to do this. 1 wood here. Um, and 1... Two, three, four wood. This is going to start becoming a risky space too. Um, I still have how many gears left? One, one gear left to use. I need to start unlocking some gears. Make the opponent skip their turn if I need to. Double sixes. This is a good. That's a good turn for us. Um, she's going to stay here, so which means we have to mark off two here. So we're Takes care of her needs. Five wood again. Um, two, three, four, five. Then three steel for both of them. All right, we're going to make this area the lobbyist's area. One, two, three, steel. Steal. However, I do it now. Undo that. We're gonna. We're gonna do it like this. One, two, three. Steal. We're gonna do three. Steal. Six and a four. All right. I'm gonna move to where they are. While your opponent's here, your workers produce one plus plus one resource. I don't know if that's a good thing right now, but three, four. All right, so we're gonna move the lobbyist for the inventor first. One, two, three, four. They are generating five chips. We are going to use three of them here. Gets us another solar farm. So let's take that off. And we're gonna use the other two right here. Um. I think, and that takes care of her needs, so we don't have to worry about her this turn again. Remember, I think we're going to move the lobbyists six, three, four, five, six. You're generating five glass, but we're going to do one, two, three glass there. We're going to use one more glass up here. A gear. I'm gonna have to burn a glass somewhere. Yes, the only the only place to burn a glass is here. All right. Roll again. Wait. Yeah, that was everything. A one and a two. She is moving here. One and a two. This is not horrible for Venter. Gonna move the Venter one. One two. Three. I have a few more wood that I gotta use somewhere. Um, here, I guess. Then I have a two that I have to use. I think it's gonna be. Oh, wait, I could have done it that way. Never mark this. Might have. We might have had one more glass to spend before too late now unfortunately I think I messed up I just realized move them one get logs right I don't know what I just did I feel like I undo what I did let's see yeah I did do wood them back there this is the smart term no it's not the smart term so Fix this first. We have one more glass that we generate from there. So I move the builder there. A lot of places. 
this is where we're going. Oh, okay. That's what we're going to do. Builder. Iterating five glass. All right here. Five points. We're going to use lobbyist. Probably. I was probably better than you. Actually, if I had a plan. Okay. Undo that. Okay. Back to the original plan. Move. Build the inventor forward one. Do the wood thing that we said we're going to do. Put here. Or, and then we have to burn a wood. Burn it. Five wood. Then we're going to move the lobbyist. We're getting three science. We already got the wood here. I know what I did with these two X's. By the way. Somewhere along the line, I messed that up too. Definitely accidentally removed two X's from somewhere, but I don't know where. I can't fix that now either. The lobbyist is taken care of. I definitely slightly cheated somehow, but I don't know where. Um, I accidentally put two X's attached to the lobbyist and moved it and did not realize until just now. Either way, I'm generating three science. This is what I was trying to do. One, two, three. We have one, we have not lost, but I have no idea where those two X's took them from. Feels like they probably came from here. They came from here. I'm gonna do that. I don't actually know, but I was marking these all in twos, so I think that's where they came from. I'll have to rewind the tape and see where I messed that up. All right, five and a six. He's gonna move first. Five, one, two, five, okay. Builder has to go this turn, or I have to use Inker this turn. One, two, three, four, five. So the builder's gonna go first this turn. Five wilds to work with, plus five, five to work with. That's gonna mark off two. I have one space left here before I lose. So if she lands here again, or if I roll doubles, I lose. Just keep that in the back of our minds. Marked off two. So can I score any points this turn? I can. One, two, I'm gonna score this district. That's me another another one. We're going for hard now. More to win. And I can mark off one more somewhere. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so that was the five. Now I gotta use the six. Oops. Or I could do last. Last district. I gotta look up one rule. Give me one second. I'd look up the rules. So I know I, in this mode, I have to use all the resources. The loose condition says only if I can't fill out two boxes, I lose. So I don't know what happens if I generate resources I can't use. I'm just gonna assume that that's a only case where I am allowed to waste them. So for instance, if I move the lobbyist here, um, if I move the lobbyist here, I'm not gonna have enough spaces to use the glass. I have one, two, I only have two spaces that I can use it. If I move the builder in a similar situation. I can't actually use all of them appropriately. Um, I'll have to post on BGG to see how to, how the, this actually works. Um, again, I'm not choosing to waste them. It's just I literally can't use it. So one, two, three, four, five. Well, it's still probably not the smartest. Move. Better to just here, do it this way. Use them here, here. That's it. I have no other spots where I can use the, the, the glass. The best that we can do. I gotta move six, not five. Changes anything here instead. Any iron spots? Invoke. No iron. Okay. So let's roll. Two and a four. He's going to move to science district. Um. 
Um, do I lose? I think I lose this game. No, I definitely don't lose this game. So pretty good roll. One, two, generate three support. One, two, three. This gets us this and two more uh, gears. So I have one, two, three, four gears to use. Gang generates another science um, solar farm. I have a four to use. One, two, three, four. What's the best usage? Four. One, two, the iron. Okay, so I'm gonna move the builder. The iron. And we took care of uh, her needs for that space too. Important. Now the builder is getting three iron. We're just gonna fill out this space here. One, two. That's this district. Two more districts. I have to use one more iron somewhere. We're gonna use the iron. I think I could win on the next turn. Yeah, I think I win automatically. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna spend four gears. Uh, oh, two gears only. We're gonna spend the two that we got. The opponent's gonna skip their next turn. Uh, they still move. I don't think I have to worry about. Either way, I think I can make it work. Either way, I think I, I don't think it matters. Might matter. No, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. I'm actually not 100 sure how the opponent skips their turn works with her, but I don't think I need to worry about it anyway. We're just gonna assume that it means that she doesn't roll, but I still have to fulfill her two here. So I'm gonna move one here. I'm gonna generate the, the six glass, five glass. No, nope, actually, I'm gonna do it a different order. I'm gonna move the builder four. Actually, no, I have to do the. All right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna move him here. I'm gonna spend a gear, generate three wilds. I'm gonna use the first wilds, get that. I don't get a, a thing, but I do get a wild back. So now I have three wilds to spend. Um, three wilds and five glass to spend. Spend three glass here, gets us this district. I have two more glass that I have to spend. Spend it here, and I'm gonna use one of the wilds here, gets us another district. Puts us at winning on hard mode, but I can do better than that. I spend two more wilds, oh, and then I have to move somebody else. I'm gonna move the worker. That's gonna let me um, like generate four, four chips. One, two, three, four. The two wilds here, which gets me this one. Technically, I get another science, but yeah, uh, another solar farm but that's it i don't lose um she never moved into a district where i couldn't feed her to i may have made some minor rules mistakes i definitely know i accidentally deleted two x's once and there may have been eternity where i forgot to mark spaces in her in her space i know i caught myself a few times almost not doing it but for the most part i think i did not cheat uh, that is my second game of Sunshine City. This was a longer one. I think this is probably the longest like it's going to be for a solo game. Um, for faster players, you get this down to an hour. There's definitely shorter scenarios, so I'll probably play a couple of those, and hopefully you'll see like a 20, 30 minute play. Um, but yeah, but this one was a little bit more thinkier than Angus. Um, I think once I figured out what I was going to do for a strategy, it wasn't too bad. I was just kind of hoping that I wasn't going to get bad rolls. Um, to like muck up my plans and like i said there are some rules in this game that are a little bit ambiguous and even checking the, the board game geek forums there's not that many clarifications i don't think it's a super popular game which is part of it but uh so far i like it um a little bit longer than i would hope for this type of game but it also could just be me playing slowly while recording i'm not 100 percent sure uh but the two ai's definitely played way different so i am kind of interested to see how the other AI opponents um, shake out and if there's a lot of gameplay differences between them. So I will play this again sometime soon. I'm going to try to maybe try to get through all the AI opponents once and see how I feel. Um, but yep, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. If you can give me a thumbs up or a like or comments, that too. All right, this is Wackasm. See you next time.